and welcome back to the Return Homestead. Today I'm back in the kitchen. The carrot cake did not last long. If you didn't get that recipe, Michael link it in the, in the video for you. But today I'm making zucchini bread. Zucchini's starting to come in, and I'm very blessed to have a neighbor who brings me extra produce because mine hasn't started yet. It's flowering, but it's not ready to use. This recipe is really good for using if you get really large squash because they tend to be a little tougher and they have bigger seeds. So once you shred them and put them in the cake, it's great. You need to preheat your oven to 350. This bread will cook for one hour. It's very moist. It will make two loaves. You need three eggs. I have two cups of sugar, one cup of oil, and again, I'm using olive oil, the extra light, two teaspoons of vanilla. In this bowl, I have three cups of flour. You will also need one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of salt. This recipe I'm using calls for half a cup chopped nuts. I usually double that, and I'm using walnuts today. So what you need to do is start blending your sugar, your eggs and oil, and vanilla together in a bowl. and you want to get it mixed in real good. If you let your squash get away from you, in this case zucchini, you can also use that large squash to make what is my most requested canned food, and that is sweet and spicy zucchini relish. I use both zucchini and zucchino I've even used other squashes, it really doesn't matter. This makes a really good relish and everybody loves it. Another video for another time. Okay, now I've got this all mixed up and I'm going to add my cinnamon, baking powder, salt, and baking soda. And I'm going to get that mixed in. Now I'm going to add my three cups of flour. And this mixture will get a little thick. Once you add your zucchini, the moisture from the zucchini will loosen it up quite a bit, but it's still a really thick cake when you pour it in the pan. Now I'm going to add my three cups of shredded zucchini and my chopped walnuts. And that's going to get all mixed together. Whoops. Usually when I yell whoops, sunshine comes running because she knows I've dropped something. So it's a common thing for me, just saying. So as you can see, this mixture is quite dense. It gets very thick, but you wanna make sure you mix it in all well. Now I'm going to take my prepared pans and divide this between the two. Once you've filled your pans, they just need to go in the oven for one hour. They'll go in for one hour and I'll test it then with a toothpick to make sure it comes out clean. So the bread recipe is a great one to have if you have got 
unexpected company. It only takes a few minutes to put it together. It takes a little longer to cook, but there's nothing better than butter on warm zucchini bread. But if your garden is like mine, you'll see that you get zucchini coming in all the same time. So Mike likes this all year long. And what I end up doing is shredding what I have. I'll put that in a Ziploc bag, mark it three cups zucchini. And anytime he wants bread, I can just pull a bag out of the freezer, defrost it, and make this recipe. So it's a great way to store your zucchini. Like I said, the only other thing I use it for, except for to eat fresh, is making my zucchini sweet and spicy relish. And I use all kinds of squash to do that. The other thing is zucchini pickles. You wouldn't know the difference between dill pickles made with cucumbers. So right now, I'm gonna take what I have before it ruins. And like I said, things here, with the high humidity ruins very quickly. So I've got to process them as I get them or I don't get them. What I do with a lot of it is I'll put it in a freeze dryer and freeze dry it and make a powder out of it. And then I can make a cream soup or I can put it in eggs or whatever you want to do. So there's many ways to preserve it without letting it go bad. So I'm going to shred all this up and get it in baggies. short time we've made two loaves of zucchini bread and I have two four six seven more bags of three cups making 14 more loaves and it only took a few minutes as you can see in a very short time we made two loaves of zucchini bread I have enough here shredded and ready to go for 14 more loaves, this will go in the freezer. I generally smash these down so they store easily. And then when you're ready to bake, just pull it out the morning that you plan on making your bread. It only took a minute. It was a super easy zucchini bread to make. It is very moist. You'll have to try the recipe. And if you do, let me know in the comments what you think. Well, thank you for joining me today in the kitchen. Until next time, bye-bye.